Recently, we were given a bit of news regarding Jake Johnson's apparent return to the new film in the series, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which is set to hit theaters in June of 2018. Jake Johnson played the role of Lowry in Jurassic World and was an employee who worked within the Jurassic World control room, giving the audience a bit of comedic relief in the midst of the park's descent into chaos. Personally, I believe his return in Fallen Kingdom will be more akin to a cameo, similar to what John Hammond's role was in The Lost World, but I thought this little hint of information was a great way to begin a discussion on the overall cast of Fallen Kingdom, as the movie has quite a few roles being played that seem to demand a very action-oriented plot. This film is designed to be darker and more terrifying than the last, and it looks to be taking a lot of its visual cues from the second film, with what little bits of pictures and information we have been given. Interestingly though, the roles the film will provide seem to really focus on an abundance of militant-type human characters and other similar roles. The positions of several mercenaries seem to fill out a big part of the cast, and some even have the distinction of being titled Lead Mercenary, or Lockwood Mercenary. Benjamin Lockwood is a new character set to appear in the film and will be played by James Cromwell. His character is described as being a business partner to John Hammond during the construction of the original Jurassic Park, and he's said to be dealing with the blowback from the genetic engineering the two started decades earlier. The distinction between normal mercenaries, which are quite abundant, and Lockwood mercenary should be noted. Furthermore, roles are listed as combat medic, jungle tracker, lab technician, Russian bodyguard, submarine pilot, and boat crew. This is shaping up to be a quite diverse lineup of individuals in this film, and even feels like it could be the long-awaited sequel that will be wholly different from its predecessors in both presentation and execution. Fans have long speculated that the series needs to evolve or die, with each subsequent film taking place on an island, with the only movie daring to go to the mainland being The Lost World, and that was only for a brief part during the climax. Now here's where the really interesting stuff comes from. A select few roles are shown to be listed as American Senator, Senator's Aide, Evil Businessman, Wealthy Bidder, and Auction Dinosaur Buyer. Some fans have speculated that this film may involve the roundup of several dinosaurs from Isla Nublar to be auctioned off in an elaborate dinosaur bidding show, and this little bit of information seems to really add fuel to that fire. Now in reality, we have no clue what this film will be about, but I do feel like the people having these discussions are onto something here. With Isla Nublar more than likely getting destroyed by the volcanic eruption they've hinted at in the past, I think having a group of people auction off dinosaurs to end up in various places around the world is a very intelligent way to progress the story further, and one that could be the ultimate turning point in differentiating this trilogy with its predecessor. Now as for the major cast, we of course know that Bryce Dallas Howard, Chris Pratt, and Beatty Wong will all return to their respective characters of Claire, Owen, and Dr. Wu, but we also have the return of Jeff Goldblum's iconic Ian Malcolm to look forward to as well, which is causing a lot of people to really get excited for this next chapter of the saga. We've recently gotten other news giving us a release date for the trailer of the new movie, and setting it at around December 13th instead of close to Thanksgiving like we all previously expected. The trailer is noted as being attached to the new Star Wars film, The Last Jedi, which I will definitely see opening night. But the trailer should also drop on YouTube before you have to go pay money to acquire a movie ticket. My expectations aren't huge or overblown, as I'm sure they plan on teasing us as much as possible until the eventual release date. I'm guessing we will get a a little glimpse of the volcano said to be in the new film, but I'm betting on seeing very little dinosaur action in this duration, as it's just the beginning of their marketing of the film. We will probably see a good amount of peaceful herbivores and maybe some tracking vehicles and dinosaurs in cages, but I highly doubt to get any shots of the T-Rex until the second trailer is made. But who knows, I could be very well wrong. Now, Blue the Velociraptor will definitely be in the film and more than likely show up in the trailer briefly to appease kids and younger fans, but the one thing I'm most interested in seeing make an appearance is Jeff Goldblum. Now the likelihood of the creators showing him to us this early on is pretty slim. But again, we won't know anything until that trailer is released. Now, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video and hope you enjoyed today's content. If you feel like I've deserved it, I would appreciate the like and hope you consider subscribing if you haven't already so that you can see me again. I'll see all of you in the next video, and as always guys, take it easy.